and if I talk about the bus stops, like every one kilometer or two kilometers, we have one bus stop, which is good for the people. The government also considered the remote areas, and now we have transportation there. Also, we have many taxis available, such as Ola and Uber, as well as mobile apps. We need to book a ride, and immediately, within five minutes, you will get your ride, which is a good thing in my region, and I like that. I had one incident on the bus. First thing, I only preferred my private vehicle or privacy. But that day, I had to choose a bus and go over there for some reason. I was reading something, and some students were making funny noises and creating a nuisance. One person on the bus argued with him, and I expressed my solidarity with him and told them to keep quiet like you are sitting with someone. So all the passengers had a problem with you. That's the only case when I had a problem with the bus transportation.
I think there is no particular area in which I have to assist the government with something because, as I said, the public transportation facilities are up to the mark in my region. If I had to choose one, they should make some special buses for the special routes, like for the long routes, and they should also consider some buses for the tourist trip. That's the only thing I can recommend the government to change my city's bus transportation. I hope you are doing great. I received your letter last week and learned that you need my consultation to decide whether to go to college or start looking for a job. The possible course of action you must take is to get a job instead of studying. Being your bosom buddy, I know that making ends meet is challenging. And that is why you want to pursue a master's degree and will do part-time work. Juggling two tasks may not be a prudent choice for you. Despite this, you should look for a job as earning money is your dream. What would be a better situation than now? Moreover, work will help you save money for your master's degree.
I have noticed that you have good communication skills. Besides, you have lots of good social connections. It would be best if you started to look for a job in the recruitment field. Also, you have a degree in human resources. My suggestion will help you. I hope you are doing splendidly and enjoying summer in Australia. I received your present, a digital watch, last Sunday. I want to thank you. It is such an amazing and expensive gift that I ever had. My reaction was mixed. I was shocked and happy at the same time. I found a letter inside that you missed my birthday party due to work. That's why you have sent this. Honestly, it is the exact watch. And I am fascinated by its remarkable features. Its extraordinary technological making makes it special for me. I like its design, moreover, its touch speed and other features, such as answering calls, reading messages and health monitoring, are very handy and convenient. As you already know, I am a fitness freak and use it in my training. With the help of this, I can check my training sessions or use it in my daily routine as it suits my personality.
Once again, thank you so much for this precious gift. In this contemporary era, developing countries need aid from international organizations for flourishing development. Many argue that monetary support is crucial, while others state that practical help and consultation are more important. I strongly advocate the latter view after considering its long-term benefits. However, this essay will discuss both views. A section of society believes financial help would be more prudent to attain a country's success. Funds can be utilized in any facet of the country as needed, which might be effective for development. However, money-wise, aid may seem short-term beneficial for a country. It would be required only in emergencies to help countries stabilize again. For example, a loan of $5 million was sanctioned by the U.S. government to Pakistan, which they used to make buildings, schools, and hospitals. Regardless, they would only succeed if an official could guide them where to park their funds. On the contrary, practical advice may be far better than financial advice. Good advice is the key to success.
a proper plan and consultation are necessary for long-term benefit and a nation's development. Before taking any step, Elon Musk recently shared his trip to India before establishing his Tesla Industries. His trip aimed to advise the Indian PM about startups and observe the current situation in India. To conclude, financial support is effective, however, it can only be fruitful in the short term or emergencies. Hence, the latter view has numerous long-term advantages because, with guidance, all financial support is helpful. Education is a crucial part of life. Many individuals opine that university education aids educators in finding better jobs. In contrast, others opine that tertiary education has numerous benefits for society and individuals. I strongly advocate the latter view after considering its advantages to society and the individual. However, this essay will discuss both views. A section of society believes that education from a well-recognized university is necessary to acquire a higher-class job with a handsome salary package. The learners spend their time in college adapting and learning skills they could utilize in their jobs or businesses. <laughs> 